Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. And welcome to the uh, Social Economic Research Portal for the Philippines Fifth Network Biennial Meeting. Okay. My name is Sheila CR. I'm uh, the Research Information Director of uh, PIDS and the manager of the SERPI project. So in this meeting, we will be um, revisiting the activities and accomplishments of SERPI in the past two years, as well as uh, we will also chart its ways forward. And the theme of this meeting is gearing up for SERPI 4.0, and this is to underscore the value of continual improvement for SERPI as we enter the fourth industrial revolution. And at this point, I would like to call on our president, Dr. Celia Reyes, to formally open our event as well as um, share her thoughts about SERPI and about the theme of this meeting. Magandang umaga po. Um, how many are from outside Metro Manila? So karamihan. So maraming salamat ho sa pag pagbiyahe nyo. Alam namin um, nagahabul din kayo ng deadline, tama ba? <laughs> Just like uh, us. <laughs> so a pleasant morning to all of you. Um, it's my pleasure to open the SERPI by Inyal meeting for the first time. Um, kasi I just um, assumed the office last March this year, and I'm very pleased to welcome all of you to, to PIDS. So, in line with the mission of PIDS to conduct quality policy research, we also recognize that we cannot do all of the research. What we at PIDS can do is to ensure that all the necessary policy research is done, and so to be able to do that, we need to provide the infrastructure for research. So although the internet has facilitated access to online resources, there are still many resources that are not readily available online. Thus, it's difficult for researchers outside Metro Manila to access data and studies being conducted by research institutions in Metro Manila. Thus, PIDS has taken the task of facilitating access to data generated by government agencies and studies done by research institutions. So, um, yun ho yung, um, as, as researchers, we recognize na minsan, ano, yung mga studies na hindi pa published, but are in discussion paper format or working paper format, hindi pa readily available to other researchers. And you can only access them if you physically go to the office and talk to the researcher. And so, um, that's the gap that we um, at PIDS, uh, through SERPI, is trying to address. So in the year 2000, when we first set up the SERPI, only a few institutions were promoting the open access movement. Um, PIDS was the first government agency in the country to embark on the development of a knowledge portal devoted so to socioeconomic materials produced not only by the institute, but also by other government entities and research and academic database and acad academic institutions in the Philippines. We know that PIDS is just one of the many research institutions. And although PIDS has been mainly catering to government, marami pa rin ho katulad nyo who are doing um, relevant policy research that would be very important um, for our policy makers to, um, to access of and use the information. Um, in, in fact, as early as 1995, PIDS was the first to create an online database in the Philippines, the Economic and Social Database, and the GIS-based Philippine Socioeconomic Profile, both of which I have the privilege of developing and managing with the help of my team. So, ganun na ho ako katagal sa PIDS. Um, so, in fact, during our lunch break, you will know more about these knowledge databases as well as another PIDS initiative the PIDS Corners, from the presentation of our staff. SERPI and the other innovations I have mentioned would not have endured the test of time if not for your support. It has been 18 years since the SERPI was established by PIDS, and over the years, it has grown to become a resilient knowledge network thanks to your continuing partnership. Um, SERPI can be considered a product of the information age in which the centerpiece 
is the concept of the knowledge-based economy. And yet, it is even more than that. Because the SERPI promotes knowledge networking, it's also part of a network economy, where the knowledge produced by its members are shared among and across various other networks, thus benefiting not just the network members, but a wider audience, not just locally, but also acro across the globe. In fact, we've been um, monitoring those who have been accessing our website, and we've noted that a significant number actually are researchers from outside the Philippines. Today, we're entering the fourth industrial revolution, an era that takes the knowledge and network economies to a higher level. Um, it's an age of infinite possibilities marked by advanced technologies, which have profound impacts in the way we live and work. What it implies for SERPI and for all of us is that we should continuously innovate. We should explore how digital technologies can make our products and services more effective and accessible and our methods and processes more efficient. We should be open to new ways of doing things and be ready to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Most of all, we should be open to collaborate with one another and with other sectors and stakeholders in generating new knowledge in applying them and evaluating their usefulness. In fact, I'm very pleased that I think we have representatives from about 39 partner institutions. And I'm also very glad that the theme is um, for SERPI 4.0, parang ka-align dung Industry 4.0. No? So we want to make sure that we harness the opportunities that Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution um, will bring. So I look forward to the presentations this morning on some of the digital technologies that are gaining ground in the Philippines. One of the speakers will also discuss about intellectual property, data privacy, and data security, which are critical issues that increasing, increasingly confront us these days. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to Director General Josephine Santiago of the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines, uh, Director Lisa Gilisan of UP Open University, and Mr. Patrick Salaman of the, Salamat of NEDA for taking time off their busy schedule to share their knowledge and expertise. For this afternoon, I'm excited to listen to your recommendations and how we can further enhance SERPI and strengthen our network. This early, allow me to thank all of you for your insights and suggestions. I would also like to thank Sheila, um, our coordinator for SERPI and her team for their efforts in bringing together all of you, all the partners, um, even those who are not physically present uh, today. We hope to expand the network by having more partners uh, next year. Let me end with a quote by Helen Keller that fits the, befits this occasion and SERPI in general. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. I wish us all a productive day and many more years of partnership in the SERPI. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your uh, inspiring message. So, um, as uh, um, Dr. Reyes has mentioned, meron pong 39 member institutions ng, ng SERPI na nag confirm to attend, to participate in our meeting today. Okay? Not bad, isn't it? 39 out of 53 member institutions. Well, 53 which includes PIDS. Pero 39, ang dami po. No? And at this point, I would like to call on our SERPI coordinator, Jachin Jazz Abirilia, to introduce the members, to introduce those who are present today, as well as those who were not able to send um, a representative. So, si Jachin po yung uh, nag-e-email sa inyo lagi when it comes to uh, your uh, mga submissions, your contributions to the portal. Well, for those of you who attended our our um, network meeting in 2016, iba pa po ang ating ano non, ang ang ating coordinator si Vin pa, no? Si uh, Vin Aranas. Okay? So, now we have a new coordinator, not really new, last year pa siya, but um another creative, another vibrant member of the Peace family and um very creative sa ating mga uh, initiatives dito sa SERPI. Jachin, please. Thank you po, Michelle. So, ako nga po yung lagi pong nangungulit sa inyo. 
Welcome po. And thank you po for confirming your attendance po. So first, we have um, Action for Economic Reforms. Si Sir Alfonso Jose Montesa. Wala pa po siya, pero sige po. Um, from Agricultural Credit and Policy Council, ACPC. Ms. Emeline Ginto. And from AIMJBF Center for Banking and Finance, AIMJBF. Wala pa rin po. AIM RSN Policy Center for Com Competitiveness. Uh, we have Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Sir Ferdinand S. Co. Yes po. Please stand up po to be recognized. And thank you, sir. We have from Bureau of Customs, Mr. Patrick Errol C. Espaliardo. From Central Luzon State University, Ms. Zerli Garcia and Ms. Princess Arca A. Polo. From Central Philippine University, CPU, Ms. Maria Ligaya Canyel and Professor Maria Cynthia Pelena. Um, from Congressional Planning and Budget Research, Department of the House of Rep Representatives, CPBRD, Mr. Novel ba Bangsal, Mr. Byron Bisenyo, and Mr. Tommy Lagasca. Hello, po, sir. From Department of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Service Insti Institute, or FSI, Sir Jovito Katigbak and Ms. Rodora Joaquin. Hello. From the Department of Labor and Employment, Institute for Labor Studies, DOLE ILS, Mr. Reynerio Alba and Mr. Nolly J. Ruffer. From De La Salle University, Angel Angelo King Institute for Economic and Business, DLSU AK AKI, Ms. Nali Rapada. From DLSU Social Development Research Center, DLSU SDRC, Ms. Maria Catherine Domingo and Ms. Connie J. Maranan. Maraan. From DLSU University Research Coordination Office, DLSU URCO, Ms. Nelly Ann Cruz and Ms. Christine Abrigo. Morning, Paul. Um, from Philippine Institute for Development Studies, Ms. Jane Alcantara. From GIZ, GIZ Philippines, Mr. Mark Edel Diaz. From Mariana Marcos State University, Ms. Michelle Joy Barrera and Mr. J.P. Ilacas. From Mindanao Development Authority, Ms. Roxine Gamo, Ramos and Raymond Tejano. From National Economic and Development Authority Central Office, Ms. Beatriz Kalingo. From National Economic and Development Authority Region 3, Neda, Divina Hope, V. Vallejo, and Ms. Ina Cristia M. De Jesus. From Neda, uh, Region 8, Mr. Delito Pascual. From Neda, Caraga Region, Ms. Melanie Maur. From National Tax Research Center, NTRC, Ms. Rhea L. Caro and Ms. Marilu D. Vilog. From National Water Resources Board, Ms. Claire Espina and Ms. Alpha Areniego. From Palawan State University, Dr. Ronald Edilberto A. Ona and Mr. Christian Robert Nalika. From Philippine Apex Study Center Network, PASCN, Ms. Melanin Mantaring and Dr. Francis Kimba. From Philippine Statistics Authority, Ms. Simonette Nisperos and Ms. Maria Bel Belen Pexon. From Pinoy Me Foundation Incorporated, Ms. Ia De Los Santos. From Southeast Asian Region, Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture, or CIRCA, Mr. Nelson Tres Valles and Ms. Mina Talatala. 
from Simeo Regional Center for Educational Innovation and Technology, Simeo, Simeo Inatec, Mr. Genesis Montero, and Ms. Alexa Geronimo. From University of San Carlos, USC, Ms. Elizabeth um, Remedio, and Ms. Maxi Dorin Cabaron. From University of San Carlos, Office of Population, Population Studies, Mr. Sonny A. Bechaida. From UP Center for in Integrative and Development Studies, UP Seeds, Mr. Joseph Angelo Cruzado. From UP National College for Public Administration and Governance, NCPAG, Mr. Alan Grant Sobrepeña and Mr. Vincent Celarde. From UP National Center for Transportation Studies, UP NCTS, Mr. Julius E. Panotes. From UP School of Economics, UPSE, Sir Rio Benti Campos. From UP School of Urban and Regional Planning, UP Sir, Ms. Jomily Sardan, Tumamao Kitap, and Ms. April N. De La Cruz, and Mr. Jeffrey Joaquin. From UPLB Center for Strategic Planning and Policy Studies, UPLB CSPPS, Ms. Macrina Umali. And from World Bank, we have Mr. David Lorito and Ms. Stephanie Ann Margalio. Um, I recognize na din po natin yung hindi po makakapunta. From Asian Development Bank, ADB, Ateneo School of Government, Department, um, sorry, um, NEDA Region 1, NEDA Region 6, NEDA Region 11, um, Picard, St. Paul University of the Philippines, Siliman University, Philippine Export, and UPLB College of Development Communication, UST Research Cluster on Culture, Education, and Social is Issues, and Xavier University Research Institute for Mindanao Culture. Yun lang po. Thank you very much po. Thank you very much, Jazz. So, salamat po ulit sa inyong pagpunta. We observe na yung uh, madaming pumunta from uh, um, outside of Metro Manila, no? mga taga Visayas, taga Mindanao. And really, thank you for taking time off your busy schedule. No? Sabi nga ni Ma'am Sel, this is the time of the year na naghahabol tayo ng mga, <laughs> ng mga reports, no? ng mga... Ano, updates, accomplishment reports, so marami pong salamat sa inyong pagpunta. Um, we also invited a prospective um, SERP member. I'm not sure if they're already around. Those um, officials, representatives of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Kasi PUP has expressed interest to um, participate in our network. No? And so we invited uh, the representatives of PUP to... Um, Join us in our meeting today so we can, um, so they can know more information about our network as well as uh, meet um, their future partners. Okay, so baka mamaya nandiyan ang mga taga PUP. We hope that you will uh, take this opportunity not just to attend the meeting but to meet new friends, to meet new networks, no? Um, and hopefully this will lead to um, new collaborations either in research in knowledge sharing, in your advocacy work. After all, um, forging partnerships is the um, goal of um, the Socioeconomic Research Port Portal for the Philippines project. So before we move to the next part of our program, no? so sabi ko nga, dapat hindi lang kayo pumunta dito para ano, no? umaten ng meeting. Could you please look at the person behind you? No? And... Say hi naman, no? If you will... <laughs> Yung sa ID natin nakalagay, Hi, I am Sheila. Your SERP partner from PIDS, no? So that should be one of our, our goals today. Yung mayroon tayong mamit na bago, na possible collaborator sa project, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Sige po. So at this point, it is time for me and Jazz to report to you what we have done in the past two years since we had our fourth um, Serpy Biennial meeting on December 6, nine, um, 2016. No? Okay. So uh, please take note uh, that this is just a preliminary presentation, a preliminary report, because this afternoon, some of the, our Serpy partners will be giving their um, report on their respective uh, SERPI related uh, accomplishments and activities. So preliminary lang po ito, okay? Let me begin by looking back at what happened in our fourth biennial meeting in 2016, okay? So for those of you who were not present in that meeting, no? So, Siguro na, na -re recognize yung face, ang faces nyo dito, ano, for those of you who were present in 2016. Okay? Now, let me start by looking at our outputs in that meeting. So, para may ma-relate natin sa mga nangyayari ngayon o sa mga ginawa natin ngayon. In that meeting, we had a visioning exercise through a workshop wherein we asked the participants, we asked uh, the members present, to um, come up with their vision for SERP for the next three years, no? Okay, so, and this is what we gathered. These are the responses that, responses that we gathered. That in 2018, what we envision is a more strengthened and engaged SERP network with members fully committed in contributing materials to the portal and in promoting the open access agenda. So this is what we are, we would like, we envisioned back in 2016 for, for the SERP by 2018, which is now, which is this year, no? And then for 2019, that, C, uh, that the SERP will be one of the leading open access repositories of research materials in the country with a wider reach and expanded research coverage, okay? And then for 2020, which is what? Which is two years from now, that the SERPI project will find, will find its way into the global arena with the goal of establishing a research culture among its primary stakeholders. So yun, yan yung mga uh, in envision natin for SERPI for 2018, for 2019, and for 2020. Okay? Now, we also ask the members present to give their suggestions on ways forward in order for us to accomplish the vision for SERP. Okay? And these are the suggestions that you put forward. Let me um, enumerate them. One is to pursue formalization of partnership through a memorandum of understanding. And we are continuously doing this. As of now, there are more than half of uh, the SERPI membership na meron na pong um, memorandum of understanding with PIDS, no? And the memorandum of understanding in our, the MOU stipulates the obligations, the responsibilities of uh, um, the SERPI member and the PIDS. And we deem, this is very important, ano, to, to formalize a partnership para meron tayong uh, kasunduan kung ano po yung uh, gagawin natin sa SERP. Okay? Number two is to incentivize the most active members through non-monetary measures such as providing certificates of recognition. Actually, we have been doing this uh, for the past, uh, I mean, past several years whenever we have a biennial meeting. And this afternoon, we will again have a recognition ceremony. So hopefully, wag kayong aalis kasi baka isa kayo sa mabibigyan ng ating uh, <laughs> recognition, ng ating plaque of appreciation for being um, one of the most active SERPI members from 2017 to 2018. So for, two, uh, for the past two years. No? Number three, increase social media presence through Facebook and Twitter. Incidentally, okay, today, Social media is one of the topics that will be discussed 
in um, the presentations that we will have after the break, no? Because we would like you, we would like you to, uh, we would like to encourage all of you to harness these new technologies, no? For knowledge dissemination, for your advocacy efforts, no? Number four, to conduct more frequent meetings and promotional activities by visiting the locale of each member institution. Fifth, um, to develop a briefing package or kit about SERPI, which can be used by SERPI coordinators in promoting the project. And sixth, conduct a study on SERPI website users to further customize knowledge services. Okay? So yun yung mga outputs natin, yung mga suggestions on ways forward na natakal natin ng fourth biennial meeting. And I would like to uh, give the floor now to Jazz to um, present to you our accomplishments for the past two years. So, ayan po, good morning ulit. From 2000 po, meron tayong 2,153 materials uploaded sa SERPI. And nung 2016, for, from the fourth biennial meeting, meron pong 5,650 materials, 53 member institutions, and 3,015 authors. And ngayon pong 2018, meron na po tayong 6,596 materials, 4,251 authors, 53 member institutions and 6,000, sorry for the, 6,883 keywords. So, medyo may increase po talaga yung um, materials uploaded, lalo na po nung recently na nag-visit po kami ng mga member institutions. And yung some of the major challenges pa rin po uh, ng SERP ay yung low participation of some member institu institutions and low awareness of the benefits of SERP. So, ito po yung mga number of uploaded materials. Meron pa rin pong mga konti lang yung uploads. Meron pong walang uploads. Meron din naman pong marami yung uploads nila. So, to address this issue po, ay nagkaroon po kami ng SERPI reorientations this year. Nag-start po kami kayong taon. So, last April 5, 2018, we visited AIM Rizalino S. Navarro Policy Center for Competitiveness. So, wala pa po sila. And last April 19, 2018, the GIZ Philippines. Um, last May 22, 2018, the Philippine Statistics Authority. And last May 31, 2018, UPNC PAG. And gusto nyo yung may pa-selfie po tayo dito. Wala po kasi magpipicture. June 13, 2018, NEDA Central Office. And last tw July 20, July 19, 2018, the LSU SDRC and the LSU URCO, isang meeting na lang po yung ginawa namin. And wala lang pong photos, pero ito po po yung ibang visits. May 8, DFA FSI. May 24, UP Seeds. May, tw May 29, UP School of Economics. June 19, Phil Export. June 26, Simeo, eh, Simeo Inotech. So during the reorientation, nagkaroon po kami ng demo uli ng SERPI, nireintroduce po namin siya, and yun po, kung pa, ini, um, nagkaroon kami ng demo how to upload at saka yung pong navigation po ng SERPI. So continuous pa rin po yung pagsasend po namin ng SERPI news, natatanggap niyo po to every quarter. So since 2016, meron po tayong seven SERPI news na pinadala po sa inyo, and these are uploaded din po sa SERPI website. Sa SERPI Monthly, ito naman po yung monthly newsletter po natin from since 20, January 2017, we have um, disseminated 13 issues po of SERPI Monthly. Isa po po major challenge po ng SERPI ay yung low awareness naman po ng SERPI sa among its intended users. So to address this po, Yan po. Um, nagkaroon po tayo ng SERPI AVP na in-upload po natin sa PEDS, web, uh, PEDS Facebook, sa SERPI, um, SERPI Facebook, and pinadala ko rin po ito sa inyo. So, ito po yung kanina po natin piniplay pa ulit-ulit. Ay, 
So, sin January po namin to ni-release and nung since January po nung in-upload namin siya, nagkaroon po tayo din ng increase ng inquiry sa SERP. So, nakatulong din po siya para magkaroon ng traffic dun sa website. si ating Sir P, a brand ambassador. <laughs> si Gwen, mabasa lang pong sound. If you need the preferences for your research, do you want a search engine that is easy to navigate? And do you want it free? If you are a student, researcher, or teacher looking for socioeconomic references and materials, then Sir P is for you. To access Sir P, just visit the PIDS website at www.pids.gov.ph and click the SERPI widget or type serpi.pids.gov.ph SERPI is an online database of socioeconomic studies produced by the Philippine Institute for Development Studies and other academic and research institutions. SERPI has a wide variety of socioeconomic materials such as journal articles, books, working papers, policy notes, research papers, and newsletters. SERPI has 52 member institutions that regularly upload their publications on the SERPI database. SERPI has a wide coverage of materials encompassing 17 research themes. You can search by keyword or author, by publication type, by research theme, or year published. SERPI has more than 5,000 materials with full text that you can download for free. Enjoy searching! Visit the SERPI website and follow us on our social media pages. Ayun po. So, yun po yung Sir PAVP na uploaded po siya sa mga social media pages po ng PIDS. And kung gusto niyo po humingi ng copies, pwede po kayong bigyan. Pwede niyo po siyang i-play sa mga, sa library niyo or saan po pwedeng. So, meron din po kaming... So, sa mga kits nyo po, meron po tayong uh, dinistribute po na SERPI poster. So, yan po yung isa po nating bagong um, promotional materials na pwede rin po nating idikit sa mga walls ng, sa library or sa mga ano nyo po, bulletin boards. Tapos kung gusto nyo po na extra, pwede ko po kayong bigyan kung marami po kayong gustong paglagyan po niyan. Yeah, ito po yung SERPI poster po na meron po tayo each. Sa so, um, active din po yung SERPI sa social media. Medyo low pa rin po yung likes lang natin pero um, uh, lagi naman din po kami nag upload dyan and sa SERPI Twitter po. Pero mas active po yung PIDS po, yung PIDS Twitter talaga. So, sana po yung hindi pa nagla-like ng SERPI para po maging 1,000 na tayo bago mag... Kung ilang po tayo dito para maging ma papag-giveaway po tayo dyan pag naka 1,000 likes po yung SERPI Facebook. So, ano po yung mga pinapost namin sa SERPI Facebook?
So sa Serpy Facebook po, um, meron po tayong Serpy Monthly Top 10. Ito po yung Top 10 Most Downloaded um, Publications. Pwede rin po natin ito makita sa website at pinapost din po namin siya sa Facebook. Um, we also have Sir Pictionary. Ito po yung socio-economic term of the week na nag-feature po kami na yung mga references po niya galing din po sa mga Sir P publications. And pag nag upload po tayo ng bagong material sa Sir, sa Sir P, gumagawa po kami ng ganitong PubMats para po i-upload sa Sir P Facebook. So ayun po, pwede niyo po siyang i-share and i-like. And pag nag-feature po tayo ng... Um, which ito rin pa yun na feature po sa Serpy News, yung Serpy Feature Researcher and Serpy Feature Institution. Um, posted din po yan sa social media. So, kasi po ngayon po marami na talaga yung mga tao sa social media and pwede po natin siyang gawing gateway para po mapapunta sa yung, mag yung magkaroon po ng traffic yung Serpy website. So, last ano po, recent lang po, nag-visit po kami ng isang potential um, Serpy partner uh, Polytechnic University of the Philippines, PUP, last is November 22, 2018. So, pinromote po namin yung SIRP and nag-demo po kami paano siya gamitin. And pup nag pupunta daw po sila ngayon. Hindi ko lang po sila nakikita pa. Pero darating daw po sila para mag-observe po. And yun lang po, yun po yung accomplishments for uh, ng SIRP from 2016 up to today po, 2018. Thank you po. Thank you very much, Chas. So we really uh, would like to encourage all of you to uh, follow us on uh, our Serpy Facebook uh, page, no? So sabi nga ni Chas, we only have 900 plus follow, uh, 961 followers, no? So hopefully naman maka 1,000 tayo before the end of the year. Yung PIDS, we have what? 12,000 now, no? So sana kahit man lang yung kalahati <laughs> ng 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 uh, PIDS uh, Facebook page ay maabot natin. Okay? So I think all of us here are into social media. Sino po ang walang Facebook dito? Lahat may Facebook. <laughs> Sino ang nasa Twitter? Okay. So at mas marami talaga yung Facebook. So sana please please take time to um, visit our uh, Serpy Facebook page, like it, and also follow our um, um, yung, yung mga posts natin. And please share, share them, no? Kasi kung hindi naman po um, sa ating cooperation, sa ating support, sa project, hindi din naman dadami ang ating followers, di ba? Okay. Now, um, at this point, no, if any of you um, has questions or comments no, regarding our um, the, the, uh, the status report, the accomplishment re report that uh, you, you, have, uh, you have just heard, no, could you please uh, park, them from, uh, park them for now? No? Because in the afternoon, we will also um, have the opportunity to listen to the presentations of the other uh, uh, member institutions, no, who have confirmed to report on their SERP related accomplishments. Para isahan tayong discussion mamaya. But for now, no, let us have a 15 minute break, no, a 15 minute coffee break, and also prepare ourselves, no, for um, the three presentations that we will hear after our coffee break. And these are really very interesting presentations. Two of them will talk about digital technologies which you can uh, adopt in your respective offices, no? And one of our presenters will talk about um, the risk, the risk um, that this new di digital technologies pose, no? The risk on intellectual property or data privacy, data security, and what the Philippine government is currently doing to mitigate the risks those rest. Okay? So, ano muna tayo? Break muna tayo. Uh, snacks are served outside, but you are, uh, you can, you can bring them inside the hall. Okay? So, see you po in 15 minutes. So, see you at around 9.55. Thank you very much.